Hey Jim, this is Steve, and I thought I'd do a quick video to kind of elaborate a little bit on what Larry showed you about trusses. And I would do this with polyline solids, and I'll show you how I would do it. And Larry's method is fine, but I don't know if that would work every time for custom. So I've kind of created this little boxy building just to make it look like your building. Uh, these are just polyline solids here that I've stuck on for those little wing walls. Standard view it would look like this. So, What I would do is go up here and do a cross section elevation and maybe place it inside right here and draw towards the wall and you'll get this view right here. And then I would do CAD detail from view. Turn my line weights off. And then do control A. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, what I did control W. CAD detail from view, I'm sorry. And then control A, select everything and put it on a layer. Uh, I use audio video because I never use that really. And make it a light gray and make sure it's locked. Make sure you lock this layer. And the thing about that is it these are all CAD lines. Now if you lock it you don't you don't select them. And then you've got this view of this gable where you can actually see the line of the soffit. If you if you took the section outside the gable you wouldn't see these lines. And then using polylines just create your detail here. So um, maybe go over here like this up to this line and I know this beam is actually up a little bit so I just drag it up here maybe I don't know I, I'm just going fast on this but you'll see what I'm doing so you got this polyline just use your three key break it right right here drag this line down collect it again hit the three break it right there drag it down and that is your bottom beam. And what I like to do sometimes is just give it a fill so that I can keep track of what's going on here, maybe light blue or something. And even set the transparency so it's not so bold. And then do your do the same thing, use a polyline here. Maybe make this um, six inches wide. Don't worry about the length. And center it on the ridge here. Drag this down to this soffit line. Use your three key again. Put a break right there. Pull this down. Pull this down. And this post actually comes down a little bit below here. I might even put a little like this clip on this just to uh, use your three key again. Just hit here and break it put a 45 on the bottom of it just for decoration and maybe give this polyline a fill um, you can I don't care just any color and make it light now you can see and then you have these two pieces that come in here and I would probably just draw a line from here and hold your control key down and draw it where you think you might want it like that and then use that as your line and I'd say make this and go four and then select this and double click your parallel line and click rotate entire polyline and then oh, yeah, it just never works okay. and now just put your cursor right over that line and it'll rotate that thing to that and then I would just center it on there, pull this down, use your three key again, break it right there, pull this up, pull this over, and it's not exactly where I want it, but you can just pull this down right like that. And then pull this one over to here, right at the center, and pull that line to there and then pull this up to here and there you go 
now you got that and yeah you can give it a fill if you want solid oh, solid <laughs> there we go uh, whatever and then copy and reflect about and just reflect it about that piece now you got your all these pieces here will make up your component that you're trying to do select them all copy them for me it's command c go back to your elevation hit paste and hold position control alt v then go down here and convert those polylines to polyline solids and I make them all four inches thick just for the heck of it now they look like they're drawn perfectly but they're not because if you look at the plan they're all sitting back here against the wall which is not where you want them so I would take this this is your main beam and pull it out here like this and then take your post and center it on that and I would actually do this to your post maybe add like two inches to it and then recenter it because it's actually a little thicker than your beam and then these are your two little wings and they're actually thinner than this four inches so I would make those two inches so I'd go two here click here drag it forward then hit your tab key and hit two and then center those on your post and if we come out here to the elevation you'll see that you have your timber right where you want it grab your color chooser and just paint everything and there you go you got your uh, they're all polyline solids but you got your beam there's actually a another little component um, these little pieces right here and I made these um, components right here so they they will work and we will have to kind of mess with those a little bit to get them in the right place but um, maybe something like that check my elevation here and see where they are now oh, they don't show up um, oh they're too low so in order to raise something like this I use transform replicate so uh, I have a hotkey for it so I'm not sure where it is on here to be honest with you I just hit my hotkey and pull it up transform replicate and move and you want to move it in the Z axis let's just type in a hundred and see where it goes which isn't enough uh, 20 more inches that's too much okay so I might want to go down minus six there you go so there's that component and it's still a little high but you get the point here once you have that where you want it and I might want to actually move it in the X direction oh minus one just to start and see what happens there you go so it's imperfect and then you can just right here in elevation copy it and reflect about right around that and there's your other one and there you go it looks pretty good pretty close to your picture uh, it's not perfect but you you get the idea you can use polyline solids and cut sections and build whatever you want and uh, you can get it pretty close to what you were trying to do and it's pretty easy so I hope that helps see ya